everyone. Uh, just down at the dry cows down the back of the farm. We're just uh, giving them their daily break of grass. Um, so this morning uh, we are combining the two lots of dry cows. So I've got the other ones coming up the race. They probably be five minutes away. It was pretty wet last night. They did do a little bit of damage, but it's not too bad. Got Ezra with me. So they had quite a good size break. View out into the Wahi Basin. So every morning, well, every morning we move the cows to get fresh grass every day. So this is how we winter our cows. So on the 1st of June we'll be sending off approximately 30 cows. We'll be going uh, around to the runoff and we'll be wintering them around there. Um, so we'll have somewhere about 180 cows. No, 190 cows here. So again, they've got quite a good sized break today. Goes all the way down the bottom there. There's the race there, so it just sort of, it's a bit of a triangle here. So I've got Nick's paddock on the other side of the race. Uh, that's been split in half too, so they'll get these two paddocks split in half over four days and then uh, I think I'll go back to giving them one paddock a day just for, so it's a date today, the, I don't know, it must be the 13th, uh, so usually on the uh, 1st of June we'll go to a 120 day rotation, um, so Probably give them 10 days at one paddock just to help them put on a bit of weight, a bit of condition. Um, yeah, they're, they're in all right condition, they're not the flashes. They always look worse this time of the year when you're just letting them onto grass because they've obviously eaten all their grass in the morning and then and then just nibbled on the stalks and then uh, we give them some fresh grass the next morning. So this is pretty much the furthest, or the yeah, the furthest away point of the farm. So across that gravel road there, we've got four paddocks. So from over there, it's 2.2 k's to the cow shed, and we've got paddocks. And they run right up the side there. It's all surrounded by bush. Okay, the neighbouring cows over there having a bit of a ball, waiting for their grass. All I can hear at the moment is cows munching on grass. I'm back fencing them so I'll be putting this fence back up uh, just to keep them in this break and then tomorrow morning they'll go through a gate just down there into the bottom half of that paddock. Cows happily grazing the hillsides. Still, not many cows down the bottom, they'll work their way down there eventually. So with the dry cows, they were... I did do a video about the dry cows, while well, they were still on that paddock, they had their last day in there yesterday, so this morning they were ready for fresh grass, so... I just, uh... Went ahead of them, so I just rode up, setting the gates, and uh, they'll, they'll work their way up. So, don't think they're too far away. Here they come. So these here are the cows that we dried off 
first. Over the last month we've dried a few cows. The first three of 46. So I think I did uh, talk about it earlier that we dry cowed all the cows with uh, well, there's some that we didn't do with uh, dry clocks, which is an antibiotic, which kills any bugs in the udder. Um, we didn't do some cows just as a trial. Um, otherwise, everything else got dry clocks and teeth seals. So teeth seals just a... Uh, um, it looks like silicon, but I don't think it is. I don't know what the compound or the make of it is, but it looks like silicon, and it just goes in the end of the teeth. So um, you don't massage it up into the teeth, you just put it in the end of the tea you got to we do one tube per quarter um, so it's just to try and prevent any um, environmental bugs from mud and dirt and anything that can cause anything that can go up the tea and cause mastitis so uh, yeah that's what we do last season was the first season we've done it uh, a full tube full tube in each quarter season four we just did half and last season was also the first season that we done um, teat seal in our heifers. So these are cows that haven't been milked before. We uh, put them in our um, vet race at the runoff and we put a tube in each quarter. It's not as hard a job as people might think it would be. It doesn't take that long. We will probably do a video about it. So now we will have 220 cows all in one mob, all dry cows. There's possibly one calf too, it should be with these 46, I'm not sure if she managed to uh, follow them. Alright, thanks for watching, that's quite a long video of dry cows. It's just what we do. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos, family farming and fun. And don't forget, it's Mother's Day tomorrow. So yeah, we'll see you another time. Bye.